So I haven't soldered anything yet. I went and got my solder station. I'm ready to go. But then I got diverted today because we're having a drought here and the pond's down by six feet. I got to looking at it. The sides just drop off like a cliff. You can't even go in the pond or you can fish it. That's about it. And I got to looking and I said, you know, let's dig the sides out on this thing like a boat ramp all the way around on two sides. Uh, we're going to end up with a ton of dirt and then we can actually, the horses could walk into the pond if they wanted to. But I had an ulterior motive because out front where you can't take off because there's a thousand feet of area and then there's dips all in it. <laughs> I'm going to take all that dirt and fill those dips in it and put a thousand foot runway in out front. If I take down two trees, I can go another thousand feet past the building here towards the back. So, uh, anyhow, I've got that little project going on. Oh, God, I hope that thing, that's my alarm for something. Anyhow, I was sitting here, once I got done running the backhoe, and I went back over some of the stuff from Legal Legal and Les and the other guy that are messing around with this engine, because I got some pretty good data. And uh, uh, the one guy that's skinny, okay, he had it up to 4,100 RPMs with some kind of adjustable prop. Uh, and then Les, he's a guy that's 275 pounds, which is a really good test subject for this engine. He's uh, got it up to 4,400 RPM on the engine, 2,444 on the prop because of the 1.81 uh, redrive. And uh, he's using a Culver City wood prop, 60 by 27. And I'd run some numbers before, so anyhow, I went in here to look at this in more detail tonight after I went and verified all his information. Uh, so he's running a 6027 prop on ta takeoff. He's running 2444 prop RPM, so he's putting out 207 pounds of thrust. He's got 34.7 horsepower, which is probably right because it's rated at 23 point something at 3600 RPMs, and he's 800 RPMs over that. So that sounds plausible. And that gives him a resulting airspeed of 62.4 miles an hour. And uh, so I went and looked at this, and I said, well, if they put an Ivo prop on it, in flight adjustable, $2,000. Uh, a, he increased the, uh, you know, diameter of the prop and decreased the pitch. Uh, at the same RPM, he'll get, um, you know, instead of 207 pounds of thrust, he'll get 269. And he won't even need as much horsepower to do it, 33.2, but he'll only be going 46.2 miles an hour. But he's climbing out. That's fine. Okay. So then I went and looked at his uh, cruise at 3,600 RPMs, which is, you know, Briggs and Stratton's thing, 3,600 RPMs. And he'll be doing 2,000 on the prop. So uh, using his prop, he goes down from 207 pounds of thrust to 138 pounds of thrust. His horsepower requirements drop from 34.7 to 19, so he's not really taxing the engine at cruise. And he's going about 51 miles an hour. So here we have the Ivo prop at 64 by 20 versus this up here. And then we go look at the Ivo prop down here, uh, still a 64-inch prop. But now we've increased the pitch to 26 when we decrease the RPMs to 2,000 for cruise, 3,600 engine RPMs. So your thrust dropped from 269 to 180. And uh, on his cruise, his uh, thrust was only 138 pounds. Well, we've got more thru thrust now at cruise with the Ivo prop. Um, but he wasn't using his, uh, all his available 3,600 RPM engine horsepower. Um, we're using it all, 23.7. And he was going 51 miles an hour, and we're, we're missing up almost 2 miles an hour. But if we increase it just one more inch to 64 by 27, still have the same amount of thrust, we need to get 24.6 horsepower at 3,600 RPM, which is probably doable. And now we're equal to what he was doing with the Culver prop. So the big difference here is with the Ivo prop to 64 by 27, his cruise, he has better uh, uh, thrust, okay? And... Uh, his takeoff, he has significantly better th better uh, thrust. So uh, this just shows why I'm concentrating on the Ivo prop because I think that in order for this engine to work really great, it's got to have an in-flight adjustable prop so that it can have a takeoff prop and a cruise prop. And that's what the Ivo prop's for.